Hi, it's Dr. Wendy Walsh. If you're in a toxic relationship, I really need you to listen to this. I want to give you some tips on how you can leave a toxic relationship because leaving a toxic relationship can be very, very difficult. And to anyone who's never been in one, you don't understand the level of attachment in a traumatic bond. Okay, the first step to leaving a toxic relationship is you need to recognize your relationship for what it is. I define a toxic relationship as one where there is severe emotional abuse, physical abuse, addiction, whether it's there could be child abuse because it's a toxic nest for children or even chronic cheating. This relationship is not good for your mental health or your physical health. So recognize that what you are in is a traumatic bond. Now, before you leave a toxic relationship, you need to take some steps and prepare yourself. So the best way to leave a toxic relationship is to make sure you've prepared well enough. That means get enough social support, confide in people around you who you can trust and tell them what you're about to do. Talk to them about safety, where you can go, where you can sleep if you need to. If you need to have a separate cell phone, find ways to have that support. You might also need to work on saving up some finances or borrowing some money from family members. And also, if there's violence or potential for violence involved, you wanna get some legal support and law enforcement involved. Now, the third step, when you leave a toxic relationship, you have to leave quickly, concisely, no discussion. You don't sit around and say, I'm thinking of breaking up, maybe we should break up with this kind of hope that this person might change. Nope, you have to disappear change the locks, move out, change your phone number, disengage completely on social media, block, unfriend, follow, unfollow, go, disappear. Now I know this can be very difficult if you also have children, that's why you need to have a lawyer involved to protect you and protect the children. Finally, be prepared for the honeymoon period because as soon as you leave a toxic relationship, he or she is going to get fabulous and perfect and remind you of all the reasons you fell in love with them in the first place. They're going to try to suck you back in. This is the cycle of a toxic relationship, but you can't fall for it. You can't look back on the good days, looking back along the relationship with rose colored glasses. You have to look to the future and where you're going and the potential for happiness. I'm going to confide something to you. I actually survived domestic violence and I escaped. And I lived with my two children in a small one room apartment. And today, a decade later, I have one kid who just graduated from Harvard. I have six streams of income from four different businesses and I am healthy and thriving. But I reached out, I reached out to professional help. I reached out to all kinds of people who could help me. And I want you to do that too. Because when you're finally ready to leave a toxic relationship, you need all the support you could get. My heart goes out to you, but you can do this.